Hi, I'm Rashid Ali, and I am a business owner and barber for Tapers 2 Barbershop. Well, there are two ways of doing it. Um, both do require a high school diploma, but you have the ability to become an apprentice where you work under a licensed professional uh, barber uh, or a master barber or cosmetologist for uh, a particular period. So you can go in that way. Um, I will suggest, especially for the younger people that want to get involved is to uh, go through school. You can go through barber school, go through the trade school and earn the license that way. One requires 1,800 hours, the other's 3,000 hours. Well, you know, barbering is one of those things, it's definitely about what you put into it, but for a, a barber that's um, going to do his due diligence and um, go full time, you can make um, in the range, starting out, anywhere between $250 to $500 a week. That's within your first six months if you're diligent. The main things were the relationships that you build with the people. Um, you know, the, the, the ins and outs of having to satisfy people from a customer service standpoint. Um, also too, um, how much fun you could have while you work. Um, uh, that was one of the things. And um, probably the third thing is the amount of time that, that, that you have to put in. Well, because it's an excellent field to springboard yourself, um, I think, you know, um, one of the things is learning how to manage your time uh, would be one of the most important aspects of this business. But one of the reasons that you want to get into this business is because of the amount of relationships that you can create and the type of money that you can make to help you springboard and have the type of time and flexibility to venture into other things. Man, a typical day, um, I usually like to start about uh, anywhere between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. Um, of course, you know, I, I like to get up about 5, 5.30 in the morning. I'll get my thoughts together, just kind of visualize my day. Um, but, you know, I come in as a barber. Um, I'm, I, I love to get my early morning, morning appointments going. And I'm going to cut um, just straight through from 9 into 12, 12.30, 12 1 o'clock, take a break. Um, go and handle some other business and come back and, and finish up about five o'clock. Man, the number one thing is consistency. Most of the people that you see in this business, they're consistent um, and they're good relationship people. They're, 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 they're service oriented people. Um, if you're a person that look to make people happy, there's nothing like making people happy in this business. That's what I love about a haircut and what goes into a haircut. Just think about it. When a person get ready to go to a, um, get ready for a job interview, who are they going to come and see? They're going to come and see their barber. When a person get ready to go and get married, who are they going to come see? They're going to come see their barber. So the amount of joy that you can give people and, and what this profession brings is, is just great. Man, I would say just number one, if, if you have friends and family, hey, get you some home clippers and just start getting familiar with the tools. Um, there's a lot that has changed since I started in the barbering game. There's a lot of videos out there. There's a lot of information that you can get. But I would also love for people to inquire and look at the business side of it. The profession needs an uplift in terms of people seeing it as a professional uh, profession uh, or, or a business profession, excuse me. Um, so just just make sure that you are doing it for the right reason and that you understand it as a profession and not just uh, what's considered a hustle.